Stand by, everybody. Here we go. Tape is rolling and speeding. For me to have the opportunity to sing with Jerry Lee Lewis, I want to tell you, it's been a dream of mine. I think that Jerry Lee Lewis is one of the cornerstones of rock and roll. I think he's extremely important. Well, he plays good blues, jazz, country, everything. He's just like a force of nature. He can just sing anything and make it his own. It's just... You know, it just, wow! And it's never dull when you're working with Jerry Lee. <laughs> There's always something going on. But he was right there at the beginning of rock and roll, and he's definitely a, a rock and roll legend. I'd put him on Mount Rushmore. Don't leave your women folk around when Jerry's in town. His name should be among the best Ladies that ever did it and got away with it. Jerry Lee Lewis! <laughs> track record, honey. It stands for itself. The <laughs> chantilly lays that pretty face on his head, the hanging down, wiggle and the waltz, giggle and the toss. Ain't the make the world go round. Ain't nothing in the world like a big ass girl to make me act so funny. Been my dog on money, did me ever lose like a long neck and lose like? Hey, baby, that's what I like. Hey, baby, that's what I like. 
Jerry Lee he was born September the 29th, 1935. He come out feet first, running. Here comes the reason for all this commotion. Mr. Commotion himself, Jerry Lee Lewis. Here he is. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. I saw Jerry Lee's debut on network television on the Steve Allen show. The first Steve Allen show, he kicked the stool out and Steve Allen kicked it back across the stage. Jerry Lee was part of Sun Records' million dollar quartet. Do you remember what you were thinking when that was taken? Well, I was wondering why he was sitting down at the piano. He looked up at me and said, I think everybody should know how to play a piano. Along with Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, and Carl Perkins, Jerry Lee Lewis would forever change the landscape of popular music. Jerry Lee had become an internationally renowned superstar. In 1958, he and his young bride Myra arrived in England for Jerry's first European tour. I was there when he came over to England and he had just got married. Finally, I'm going to see this man live. The British tabloids turned the fact that Jerry Lee married his 13-year-old second cousin into a worldwide scandal. I don't think as a kid I cared, you know, I don't think it, it wasn't a big deal. He came out in the, in the newspapers that, uh, you know, child bride. When were you married? Pardon? When were you married? Well, we leave our personal questions out of this show. <laughs> and I can say, well, you know what? I'm the product of that. I love that. I'm very, very proud. My parents loved each other. They loved each other. It was a different time, and, you know, they were all looking for an excuse, you know, to get rid of this rock and roll. And so, you know, he was the scapegoat. Rock and roll has got to go, and go it does. And he never was bitter. He never regretted it. He never questioned it. He just kept on going. Well, I sometimes think maybe I might have changed a few things if I could go back, well, but no. He went from being probably as big as Elvis was at the time to being virtually out of the business. It was hard going for Jerry Lee, but he survived the uproar only to fall and rise again in the worlds of country, gospel, R&B, and ultimately with a return to rock and roll stardom in what was to become the most tumultuous career in music. I remember the first time I heard a uh, whole lot of shaking going on. It was 1957, and from that day on, you know, I was I was a Jerry Lee, Jerry Lee fan. So actually, singing with Jerry is is fantastic. Sometimes he asks what key was it in when he recorded it. Some keys I know and some I don't. The Green Green Grass of Home, you know, was uh, I just let him put it in which, whichever key he wanted, and I I'm fine with it. Looks the same as I step down from the train. There to meet me was my mom and papa. Down the road I look, and there runs Mary, hair of gold and lips like cherries. It's good to touch the green, green grass of home. Yes, they will all come to meet me, arms are reaching, smiling sweetly. It's good to touch the green, green grass of home. Is still standing, though the paint is cracked and dry. And there's that old oak tree that I used to play on. Down the lane I walk with my sweet Mary, hair of gold and lips like cherries. It's good to touch. Then I awake and look around me. Four gray walls around me. 
Yes, you did. When I realized how much, yes, I was only dreaming. I know the feeling. Because there's a God. There's a God. There's a sad old Padre. Yes. Arm in arm, we'll walk at daybreak. Again, again, the we'll touch, we'll touch the green, green grass of home. Yes, they've all come to see me in the shade of that old oak tree as they lay me beneath the green, green grass of Jerry Lee Lewis right there. That's where I got that song from Jerry Lee Lewis. Jerry recorded it first. Mm -hmm. You want to try End of the Road? What do you think? Oh, yeah. incredible man who has such a spiritual feel and such a gospel touch with everything he does. You know, when I think about Jerry Lee Lewis playing the piano, I think about an angel reaching down, putting his hands on your hands and saying, play what you feel. We had fun. It was that moment. It was that passion. But, you know, we connected immediately after the first line. And it was just like, you do your thing and I'll do mine and I got your back. And that's, that's what happened up there. Yeah. 
got to be something I want you to know, I want you to know About this woman I love so After all this that she done, done Yes, she said and done You will be satisfied I won't be satisfied With anyone Oh, no, with no one Would you turn my mind back up again Ooh. Jerry Lee Lewis as the dream for me that comes true when I'm playing with someone who does almost what I do guess and see what happens <laughs> and it was so wonderful I was a nervous wreck sitting next to this great great super superstar you might try to imitate him but you can't duplicate him Today, I started loving you again. Girl, I'm right back where I've really always been. I got over you about long. think I could get by Yeah. 
just begun So today Jerry Lee was born in Faraday, Louisiana, the son of Mamie and Elmo Lewis. Well, when I was eight years old, they bought me a piano. They rolled that piano out of the house, and I was the happiest kid you ever seen in your life. Well, I, I read in this magazine where Sam Phillips had made Elvis Presley into a star, and I figured if he could make Elvis into a star, he could make me into a star. So I beat the trail toward Memphis. Sam was on vacation, so Jerry Lee spoke with his engineer, Jack Clement. And I told Jack Clement I didn't care where he went on vacation. I was going out and sat on his doorstep till he got back home. He took notice to it. He said, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to record you right now so, so Sam can hear you because I say you, you're a very desperate musician. I said, I'm a very desperate man. He played it for Sam when he got back. And I said, I'm here to see Sam. Is he back yet? He said, he's sitting in his office waiting. He's heard your record, and he wants to release it. But now, and that night, I heard my record on the radio. Time.
He's definitely one of the greats. He always has been in my mind. You got a cheating heart, babe. We're just so lucky that he's still around and, and he sounds better than most people out there now. stage with Jerry tonight, man, was like, I was born in the country on a farm, man, and it was just like Santa Claus coming, you know, but it was one of the greatest moments of my life to be on stage with him, and I have a chance to play one or two notes with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you so much. Hey, hey, do that again. Thank you, done a great job. There was another time I saw him. After he had been in the hospital, he had a hole in his stomach from some combination of pills that had gone askew. I got the word that, that he just wanted to see uh, me and Johnny Cash in his uh, room. And I felt like I'd been summoned by Shakespeare and Hank Williams or something. It was so scary. You know, I thought he was going to die. Uh, he promised me that he was never going to do that stuff again. And he was going to... Uh, he was going to only sing gospel songs from then on. And I thought, well, whatever, you know, he can do that good too, you know. But then some months later, I was, I was in New York. So he invited me to go off with him to a show he was doing that night in uh, New Jersey. And uh, we rode out on <laughs> in his limousine and everything that he'd swore he was not going to do again, he was doing all the way over there.
I figured at least I've come this far, I deserve a monument. <laughs> I know Jerry stuff since like day one. I mean, all the songs that I know are people don't know. They're not his modern day what people think of his hits, but they were like the Sun Sessions and the early rockabilly stuff. And we like my band plays that. Well, my bonnie bonnie bee, she like a real queen bee. And it's like we do a bunch of Jerry Lee. He uh, was playing in San Francisco, and these punks came out to see Jerry, and they had the leather jackets and stuff, and they're standing in the front of the stage, and you could tell they all had an attitude, and Jerry came out, and he came to the front of the stage, and like they were really crushed the front, and he walked over and just l stared at them. And he gave them a look that was like, you know, if he had had a knife, he's gonna cut their heart out or something. And these guys just faded, man. They just all faded back, and I went, okay. The killer, not just the name. If your sweetheart, 
It's in the letter of goodbye. Ain't no difference. You'll feel better if you cry. Sometimes I think it's real Could it be only False emotion That you feel If your heart hangs Seem to hang around Too long And your Getting bluer with each song. Yes, remember, sunshine can be found beyond a cloudy sky. So let your hair down.
Jerry Lee's definitely set a trend as far as piano players. Uh, I think anybody in the world can hear him hit the first lick on a piano, and they know it's Jerry Lee. There's no way to imitate, really imitate, what, what uh, Jerry Lee does. A great command and confidence, and yet sounding effortless. It's like something you'd study in a textbook now. But at the time Jerry Lee emerged, it was just recent history. It's a very flamboyant style of piano playing. There's something of the evangelical in it. Jerry Lee um, combined uh, rock music with, with boogie-woogie music and country. He was just different. And he impressed me at the beginning because it was so free. It didn't seem contrived at all. It just sounded like he was just letting it go. And I asked him who he was influenced by. And he said, I wasn't influenced by anybody. He said, I was born with what I got. My name is Jerry Lee Lewis, the album, Louisiana. Do your little boogie on his old piano. Do it, man, it's fine, I'm gonna make it shake it. Make it do it and 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 do it. You break it, call it Lewis Boogie, Lewis Way. Do my little boogie woogie every day. you bring your fiddle and come on down. We played a couple songs and, and Jerry said on the mic, he said, he said, I bet I can play that fiddle as good as you can play this piano. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I have no doubt about that. He said, let's try it. And I said, now listen, I said, you've got a bad reputation <laughs> with instruments. He played a little bit, he said, here. <laughs> I certainly couldn't play I'm piano like Jerry Lee. <laughs> yeah, you're professional at it. I got a nose slouch hat. I got my roll on my shoulder. I got nothing to do, not even the blue. I'm just bumming around. I got a million friends. Don't feel any old. Not even the news Just a bumming around You know whenever worries start to bump 
bothering me I just grab my coat, my old slouch hat I hit the trail, you see, I ain't got a dime I don't feel any older I'm free as a breeze, I do as I please Just to farm it around listen to what he's doing and I'm just kind of staying out of the way. They sprung the song on that, that Ray Charles tune, what I say. And, you know, I heard the song a million times. I should know it, but I've never actually performed or played that song. So Jerry Lee makes it his own. Every song that I hear him play, it's a Jerry Lee song. When I had to face him and I was playing the world as you're looking at it, that was kind of frightening. <laughs> opportunity to get to to sing with uh, Jerry Lee who is 
one of my personal heroes, Ben, for a long time. I think he's one of the great American voices. I really felt like I was in a dream in here. I wrote a song with Shel Silverstein called Once More with Feeling. And it was the first time I'd ever seen how an artist can transform something you have and make it better than, than it ever was. We're just going through the motion of the parts we've learned to play Never quite together like the gold Somehow, darling, something good got lost along the way And our song ain't nothing special anymore an oldie and it's a goodie baby but them words ain't ringing true and you don't seem very sure you're lying I'm in awe. I mean, I'm a huge fan, and it was you, uh, it was truly seeing an You're icon welcome. that I've based so much of my own uh, musicality on. It was really wonderful. I'm like a little kid hoping that I got my part right. At the same time, it was really casual. You know, I'm kind of fumbling with the amp, and he just started the piano, and off we went. What's the
John Fogarty. Thank you. Thank you, John. That was beautiful. Thank you, John. I was standing by my window on a cold, cold and cloudy day when I saw. singing uh, Good Golly Miss Molly and Fogarty sounded like Little Richard out there. <laughs>
Jerry Lee and I are, are you know, old friends, and 
Uh, I've been a fan of his a long time before we ever met. Uh, I used to be a disc jockey, and I used to play his records when he was doing country songs a long time ago, like You Win Again, and then he he was doing his rock and roll stuff. And But he did all the country songs with a rock and roll flavor, and that's what made Jerry Lee a little different from the other country guys. Jerry is, is about as high up here as he can get, uh, just as Elvis and all those guys were, so you, you really can't compare gold with gold. Goodbye, Joe, you gotta go with me, oh my, oh. They gotta go for the field and the fire. South, just like Jerry Lee did. I grew up uh, in Northeast Texas, probably only, I bet it's not more than a two or two and a half hour drive from my hometown to his. And, and I was part of that same Southern culture. I was amazed not only by his singing, his vocal style, but his piano playing. You know, it's, it's a very specialized kind of piano playing. It's a style all his own, really. It's, it's, it's got some gospel in it. It's got boogie woogie in it. And it's, it's a hybrid, but it's rock and roll at its heart. Well, the news is out. It's all over town. Honey, you've been seen. Except you don't know what town you're in Yeah. 
trusted in you That was my great sin His great sin What can I say You went again nice to meet somebody who really is that person that they've been built up to be. I mean, in my mind, he's a legend, he's a hero, he's, you know, one of the greats. I mean, just with his piano, you just can't deny the swing and the boogie-woogie and the blues, period. I got a month in my book, I heard it coming down. Well, there she is again, and I know about the record machine.
Yeah. 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 The Rolling Stones, their record, their song, Honky Tones, is incredible. You can't beat it. So we might as well, you know, flip it upside down, paint it yellow, and, you know, see where it goes. There's a barroom queen in Memphis. Tennessee. She tried to take old killer upstairs for a ride. She had to heave me right across her shoulder. Cause I just can't sleep to drink her off my mind. She's just a home. He needs music in his life to keep him going. I really do. Yeah, I've been playing with Jerry just about almost 40 years, and, and I'm glad I've been with him this long because I've learned a lot and uh, and uh, wouldn't wouldn't trade it for anything. Up in the morning, out on the job, working like a devil for my pay. While that lucky old son Ain't got nothing to do But just roll around heaven all day Toil for my woman Sweat for my kids Work till I'm wrinkled and gray my little lucky old son ain't got nothing to do but just roll around heaven all day. Good Lord above, can you hear me pining? Wash all my troubles away Like that lucky old son Give me nothing to do I just want to roll around heaven I want to roll around heaven Just 
let me roll around heaven all day. Well, I'm gonna ride a little letter, gonna mail it to me, double DJ. Tickled to see Jerry Lee getting his due. I was amazed that he was outliving everybody and be the last man standing. I like to think it's his power as an artist. Some people say the more hard stuff you go through, the tougher it makes you. Maybe that's why he's still alive.
They tell me that's when you got something. I say, if you ain't got something, well, then you ain't gonna get nothing. Best stay at home. Take it from me, baby. 